Welcome back to the Sports Source, the second of our program brought to you by Safety Systems. Security needs, well, that's the system, the installation, the monitoring, they do it all. Entertainment needs, well, they set you up with great video, great audio, the lighting in the room. Everything automated, whether it's security or entertainment, and everything handled by a local company. Local company. You don't have to call Charlotte or Minneapolis to get something done. That is safe T systems. Give VFL JJ Serlis a call. And I'm going to call out JJ, Sur JJ Serlis right now because on Friday I was on with John and, and Jimmy and Will and I was just trying to call it like it is. And he kept texting me, You're so negative. Stop being negative. There you go, JJ. All right. Um, and notice the only way I'll ever talk back to JJ is when we're divided yeah. by a television. <laughs> uh, new segment called Second Guesses. I'm going to start with a big one. I know you wanted this one too, so mm -hmm. we'll, we'll tag team it. <laughs> Into the first half, you get the ball with three minutes, 11 seconds. Georgia State has just tied it up at 14. Rather than show any urgency at all, they run four plays, eat up two minutes of clock, then they go to Juwan Jennings, who makes a great run to get you down to the end. But here's the deal. They wind up kicking a field goal on second down. If you don't kill the clock on your own, right. you've got more chances at the end zone down there. I didn't think that looked like Jim Chaney to me. I've seen Jim Chaney here. I've seen Jim Chaney at Georgia, at Arkansas, at Pitt. That didn't seem like a Jim Chaney move to just sit out there and kind of middle around midfield and not worry about it. That looked to me like you were tied 14 to 14 with Alabama going into the half. You and the only them. bad thing could happen is if we fumble, we throw a pick, something like that. So we're just going to try to run out the clock. And even inside the mistake they made, they made another mistake. They got a first down. I think there was like 47 seconds left. They had two timeouts. They didn't call it. They ran their next play after 19 seconds. Doesn't seem like that big of a deal, 19 seconds. You blew. Wouldn't you have loved to have that 19 seconds back? So I, I thought the whole thing was a mess, and it looked like what you would do against the superior team, not one that you think is inferior to you. Which I may be way off. It's very early in the Jim Cheney year, but I know this, and we showed it last year at the end of the year. Everybody was down on Ty Hilton when he was too conservative. We went back and looked at what they did at USC. The run-pass ratio at USC, far more wide open than what he did with Pruitt here. And that looked conservative to me. That looked mm. like, as you're saying, don't give Georgia State the ball back. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if that was Cheney up there taking his time or if that was the head coach saying, mm, don't do anything stupid. I, I just wonder what's the point in paying a different – having a new coordinator every year if the head coach is not going to let him do his thing. Just a guess from the outside. Gentlemen, do you have comments on that? Do you have other second guesses? Well, especially if you're going to invest that kind of money in your offensive coordinator. If you're going to go make the big splash higher and you're going to put more than $5 million when you include the cost to buy him out of his contract at Georgia to come in and coach, let him run the offense. Let Jim Chaney be the head coach of the offense. And, and maybe there's a little bit more to it than that, but also what message is sent to the players. If Juwan Jennings is the guy that has to show the sense of urgency so that the coaching staff can then fall in line with that, that's a concerning sign. Well, I think, you know, after games, coaches are never going to, they're going to go out of their way not to disrespect an opponent. They're going to say, well, we took them seriously, we took them seriously. Look at the rotations. You're playing so many guys, and that says, we're not trying to win this game, we're trying to learn about our team. Yeah. And when you're playing so many guys, and you say, we've got to figure out what our rotation is, we've got to figure out who we got, we've got to figure out all this stuff you got to win a game. And then you don't figure that out until the fourth quarter when all of a sudden you're, you're down you know, four or five points and they've got the ball and you're at your 30. That's a problem. And I think if you, if you figure out who you got and you don't wait for a game and you say, we're going to stick with these guys, we're going to roll with these guys, we're going to win this game, and then after the game's in hand, then you maybe see what you got. But it seemed like when you look at how many guys they're playing, they're trying to learn about themselves and not win, and that's how you wake up on Sunday morning 0-1, talking about the worst loss in and, school and history. And this isn't yeah. so much a second guess, but how much did Daniel Batuli not being there hurt them? It's Georgia because State. It's Georgia See, State. But, but here, but it no, doesn't but matter. The thing. When you got players lining up in the wrong place, it doesn't matter if you're playing Powell High School. It doesn't You've matter. You've got to have something. It's Georgia State. They should be able it to line matters. up. We should be able to line up. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't matter. I know, we're telling that's what No, no, no. You, shouldn't, you should be able to line up. But if you can't and you've got an experienced guy out there that can line you up, does that not help you? As I disagree opposed, well, with that but, but 180%. The as opposed to To'o To'o being out well, there. Well, the flip side of that is all know. camp they're talking about, well, yeah. To'o he knows all the signals. He can call the stuff. He can get guys going, yeah, he doesn't have the experience, but you better at least say that. And they're saying, no, we really like what To'o To'o can do. He played a ton of snaps. He played well. The mental side of it, it's really hard to sense of what exactly is happening. But you got to at least say that. And you got to say, hey, well, we, you know, we might be – 
iffy here, and we're gonna let Will Ig not run those things or, or, or do that. It's yeah. like they ultimately the, the that, least. That was kind yeah. of my point. Yeah. 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 They, they, the, 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 the thing <laughs> was too, though, the, the, uh, before a touchdown with, uh, in the fourth quarter for Georgia State, DeAndre Johnson's figuring out should I run onto the field? Where do I run to? That yeah. so. I think it was spread from the field to the sideline up to the booth as well, which is concerning. Also, yeah. what did they even figure out? It, because David's right, they're trying to use the four quarters to figure something out in this Georgia Yeah, who game. are the five they what, wound up with? Yeah. What, what have they figured out going into BYU? Not much. It's yeah. going to be interesting to see what kind of a rotation they use against Brigham Young. Yeah. Are they still running eight, nine guys out there? Are they still using multiple rotations? Or do they suddenly say, no, we found our five, we're good. Uh, that's going to be telling in itself. All right, when we come back, Tennessee certainly needs bodies. This gets a little bit into what we were talking about. There's no question they need bodies. And Jeremy Pruitt, already, I said last year, you can say this stuff in year one, people aren't going to want to hear it in year two. Well, he's already saying it. First game of year two after a loss to Georgia State. I don't want to hear it. So we're going to talk about talent. Should talent, do you have enough talent to compete in the East? No. But do you have enough talent to beat Georgia State with Daniel Batuli or not? Come on back, we'll discuss. <laughs> 